All right, we are still on polynomials and factoring. You know all your rules with exponents. So I'm not teaching you anything new. Um, I'm just giving you examples of how to do them. This acronym FOIL um, is what we use when we multiply polynomials together. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and there's meaning behind it. So you'll, and you'll hear FOIL a lot in your math career. Um, and it stands for first terms, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms. And it's just the order in which we distribute. So it's similar to the last section we did, except before we did um, one variable times a polynomial. So when I multiplied, I distributed ax plus 4a, right? Well, now I have a polynomial times a polynomial, so I can do the FOIL method. That means I'm going to multiply my first terms. x times x is x squared. I can multiply my outer terms which is x and 4, those are outside, and that's 4x. I can multiply my inner terms, 2 and x, which is 2x, and my last terms, which is 2 and 4, and that's 8. And once I get to this step, then I combine like terms, and I get x squared plus 6x plus 8, none of which can be simplified, so I'm, I stay here. This is a um, trinomial. All right, so that's example 1. I'm also going to show you another way to do it besides FOIL, um, and you'll hear it throughout your math group. Whoa, that's loud. Sorry. Sorry. Ah, it hurts my ears. Ah. Uh, and which is called the box method. So if you have a two by two polynomial, you have two terms and two terms. You can make a tic-tac-toe box, and let me, actually, let me do that better. So you can make a tic-tac-toe box, and you can black that one out. And then these two terms, 2x plus 1, notice I split them up. They do have to be on the same row or the same column. So I split them up, 2x plus 1, and this is x minus 5, and I can split that up, you know, right there in that column. So now I can read it kind of like a pundit square that you saw in um, science, and you just multiply. 2x times x is 2x squared. This is still not calibrated x times 1 is x, negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x, and negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Now I can circle my like terms, and just whatever, once I filled it in, I can rewrite that um, polynomial, and I get 2x squared minus 9x minus 5, and that would be my final answer. So it doesn't matter how you do it, the box method, the FOIL method, either one is totally acceptable. I, I would tell you that the box method tends to get easier the more polynomials you have. So if you have like a trinomial times a trinomial, the box method is just a way to make it organized. Um, a lot of times you will see me do the box method, but if you prefer the FOIL, absolutely do the FOIL. All right, so I'm going to do some of these practice problems with you, um, and you can fill out your notes. So we're going to start with number one. I'm going to make a tic-tac-toe, and I get y plus 8 and y plus 1. To get y squared plus 8y, y, and then 8. And this looks terrible, guys. So I'm left with y squared plus 9y plus 8. All right. Let me see. Let me turn my volume down. Um, go ahead and start practicing on some of them. Will I turn my volume down so it doesn't freak you guys out? And let's try and calibrate one more time. All right. Okay. All right, let's do this one here. So I have x minus 10, that's one polynomial, and then x minus 4. And it doesn't matter if I put x minus 10 here or x minus 4 up top, doesn't matter. Um, so when I multiply x times x to get x squared, x times negative 10 is negative 10x, x times negative 4 is negative 4x, and negative 4 times negative 10 is positive 40. I'm going to combine my like terms, and then I rewrite that trinomial. So starting with the greatest degree first, and I get x squared, negative 10x and negative 4x is negative 14x, and then positive 40 is my constant term, so I'm left with x squared minus 14x plus 40. Um, let's
let's jump down to let's do let's do some ones on the back. So go to number eleven, um, and let's start with that. I'm going to do the tic tac toe to get five x and four y, and x minus y. So x times five x is five x squared. X times four y four y excuse me is four x y, and negative y times five x is negative five x y. And negative y times positive 4y is negative 4y squared. I combine my like terms, and I rewrite my trinomial. 5x squared and negative 5xy and a positive 4xy is negative 1, negative 1xy. And then minus 4y squared is left over. Um, so that's what number 11 looks like. I'm going to do, um, we're going to skip 13 and 15 just because my board is acting wonky. So let's go to number 17. And a lot of times, um, if we're in class doing this, you'll see me do this demonstration. But um, a lot of times students just want to do 2m squared and negative 5 squared. And so if they do 2m squared, we'll get 4m squared. And then a negative 5 and a negative 5 is a positive 25. But that's not right. That's what we were doing when we multiplied a monomial with an exponent outside. This is a polynomial. So when you see this, you're really saying 2m minus 5 times 2m minus 5. So remember that answer that I just gave you was 4m squared plus 25 is what we got. Let's see if that's what I get when I multiply these polynomials together. So I'm going to box it get 2m minus 5 and 2m minus 5. 2m times 2m is 4m squared. 2m times negative 5 is negative 10m. Negative 5 times 2m is negative 10m. And negative 5 and negative 5 is a positive 25. Well, look what happens when I combine. I have 4m squared, but a negative 10m and a negative 10m is a negative 20m. And then I have that positive 25. So when you multiply the polynomial, the binomial times the binomial, it introduces that linear term. Up here, you would ignore the linear term. And you can't ignore that linear term, 2m and negative 5, 2m and negative 5. Okay? So be careful. So put a star on that one um, and be careful because a lot of times students get tricked up there. Um, all right. So on number 19, down, this is where I would, um, I would probably do a box method, and here you would do a 3 by 2 box. So here could be 3a plus 1, and here would be 5a squared plus 2a and a negative 6. And this keeps me organized. So I, that's why I tend to go to the box method, just because everything is, you know, in a box and I can check it off. So 3a times 5a is 15a cubed. 3a times 2a is 6a squared. 3a times negative 6 is negative 18a. 1 times 5a squared is 5a squared. 1 times 2a is 2a. And 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. Now that my inside area is filled out, I'm going to circle my like terms. a squareds go together and a's go together. So I'm going to start greatest degree first. So I have 15a to the third. When I combine these like terms, I get plus 11a squared. When I combine these like terms, I get negative 16a. And then my constant term, negative 6, is left over. So that's, what, that's why I like the box, just because it makes it easier the more um, polynomials you have. OK, notice on every single section, this um, unit, We've had something that looks like this. So it's asking us to find the area of the shaded region. Be careful. That's all I'm saying here because my formula is simple. It's take the area of the large and subtract the area of the small. Not a big deal. So let's find the area of the large. Well, here the area of the large is 9x minus 2 times 2x plus 7. So when I box it, I get 18x squared minus 4x. Um, I can't read my writing here. 9x and 7 is 63x and negative 14. So when I combine my like terms, my area of the large is 18x squared plus 59x minus 14. Okay, everybody see how I got that? So I'm going to erase that. That's the area of my large. The 
area of my small is 3x times x plus 12. So when I multiply them or distribute, I get 3x squared plus 36x. Okay, that's the area of my small. Area of my large minus the area of my small. Don't forget this is a polynomial, so I've got to put this in parentheses because you've got to distribute that negative, and that's where students tend to go wrong. They just want to combine at this point, but you can't because you're subtracting. So when I rewrite this using the distributive property, I get 18x squared plus 59x minus 14 minus 3x squared minus 36x. And now when I combine terms, I get 15x squared, negative 3x squared is 15x squared. I have a positive 29x and a negative 36x, which is a positive 23x, and then my constant term is a negative 14. So this would be the area of the shaded region, okay? So good luck on that. Um, come see me if you have questions.